Hello everybody, my name is Cat on the Go, and today we are back in Minecraft! In the world without a, without a floor. I don't think I'm going to end up calling this series the world without a floor, but, you know, it's a work in progress. Oh, I should eat something. There we go. I encountered a... I didn't get anything from that. Anyway, I encountered some mobs, including a witchy witch. And so I got some stuff from her. And I made some half slabs. So now our stone can go twice as far. And we are going to continue exploring today. I just heard a skeleton. A well. Well, okay. I think there's some lava over there. Can you see it? It might be just some flames. So, yeah. Um, between episodes, I realized I should have, I might have, might should have used the first two buckets of lava we found to make a cobblestone generator. So that we didn't have to keep on looking for cobblestone. But it's not like cobblestone's that hard. Oh gosh, it's just a villager. Oh, and she want it wants something reasonable. We can actually do both of those. Um How do we keep this villager from dying though? They're not very um Well anyway, if that villager manages to survive. Then we have good trades. Relatively good trades. And if they don't, well... I guess they... Well, you know. Ah, yes, there is lava here. Okay, cool. What we could do is... That's not what I wanted. Let's put this here. And then put... Okay, let's get some water. I think we only need one lava source, actually, if we want a lava stone generator. So this can go back home. Okay, we're back home. Let's make... Let's make the framework for our next. Next place we're gonna put lava. put the lava there and then we can put the water right next to it and you can start to see the outline for Now you can start to see the outline for the nether portal growing. See, you've got the bottom, and then we just need to go up three, and up three, and then right there, and then we've got a nether portal. And... Yeah! So, um... 
I think like we can get to the nether at least. And then I think the nether is going to be normal. I don't think the nether will look like this, but <laughs> we'll see when we get to the nether, what the nether looks like. Let's also see, okay, we... okay, no, that, ah, oh, crap. Now see, we can't, now we just lost this piece. Yeah, because we can't mine that unless we get a gold pick. And we only have one piece of gold. I mean, not gold pick, a diamond pickaxe. Oh! Let's see what's in this chest. Oh my goodness! Never mind about finding piece by piece. We've just got enough to make ourselves another portal. Okay. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be. <laughs> Let's go make our nether portal. How are we going to light it? Hmm. exactly are we gonna set something on fire? <laughs> okay, so now I think you can like have it like where you set something on fire on this side and like it burns through. So if we get another piece of lava then we can have it burn through like that because we can set something on fire with lava! Whew! I thought I'd just fallen off the world there. Um, so we just need one piece of lava appears. Um, so I guess that's what we're going to be doing this episode. Finding the last piece of lava. Also, we have diamond horse armor. So if you run into a horse, we can get... And give it some very nice armor. Let's go off in this direction. Doo -doo -doo. That was a great find, don't you think? Maybe I should um stir this see if <gasps> fuck. Ooh. Should probably put this stuff in a chest or something. I don't want to go home. Just oh well, there's our lava. Well, that was easy. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's a chest around here. And then we can go home and set. Try to get to the end.
Okay. So we put the lava here and it should light this on fire right there. So I guess now we just wait. Do, 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 do. Now I'm going to take care of my farm. Okay, I'm going to get back to you once that kept... Oh, well, I guess we can... Um, yeah, I'm going to get back to you when that catches on fire and then probably also going to armor up in that time. Okay. See you back in a bit. Where did I get the oak saplings from? I just noticed I had three oak saplings in my um, inventory. I'm going to plant these trees over there. Goes all my oak saplings. Oh. Oh. Okay, cool. Well, that was sad. Well, I guess that's why you don't keep good stuff in your inventory. There goes all my oak saplings. And all the rest. Oh! You are not kicking me. Ah! I'm stuck. Well. There goes most of my food. Let's go beat. I'm going to go plant those beets. Okay. It caught things. Oh, I probably needed it to be. Okay. I probably needed a bridge over instead of just on both sides. Probably wouldn't have jumped it on its own. Okay. Did burn. Oh, crap. Idiot. Oh, when I don't have a bucket anymore. Now I have to find more iron. Well, I guess the series continues until I can find more iron. The quest for iron continues. Not for iron. Well, yeah, for iron. So that we can... Quest for iron and lava continues. I guess if this does anything, it proves the assumption that I've had for quite a while that Minecraft doesn't spawn you back at the exact same place you spawned, but only close to the same place you spawned. And that's what we've been seeing, is that like, if I was spawned in the same place, I would fall to my death every time, or land on safety every time, but I don't. So that means that... I must spawn in different places every time. Okay. 
I kept all my stuff that time because we landed on ground, so we're gonna die a couple more times, but hopefully by the time the deaths uh, cycle. Okay, cool. I forgot to record an outro for this video, so here we are in a different world. I just wanted to tell you all that I hope you enjoyed the video and to have a great day. Bye bye!